Hello. Oh, hello, Anna. Oh, good evening. How are you? Yes, I'm good. I actually didn't know about the daylight saving time. What time is it? Here, here it's already five. In your country, it's five fifty-three. Here, yeah. it's only three fifty-three. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know about it. So I called at the regular time, and yeah. I said, "Where are they?" <laughs> <laughs> So I, I thought you're on holiday or something. We always so... <laughs> ski, ski class today. <laughs> yes, I, I had no idea about it. I, I actually have, but I don't know the, the time. Yeah. The time it's, that it was so confused this. me as well on the day. <laughs> you don't wake up earlier or I <laughs> I was thinking like, oh maybe there's a very important holiday in Australia now. Easter coming, yeah. Yeah, because here too, it's Holy Week. We call it Holy Week. It would start, it's actually, it started yesterday. But I uh -huh. think the main, the main event would start tomorrow. Yeah. Is that holiday? Yes, yes. We call so, it Holy Week. We call it our Holy Week. Holy Week. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys doing during the Holy Week? Oh, a lot. A lot of Catholic uh, practices. So there are some who would do the fasting. So we're not allowed to eat meat. Uh, but we can eat fish and vegetables. Yeah. But for others, they really abstain from eating. Uh, it's really, really a total fast, yes. For Is some. That a religion? Uh, it depends. Yeah. Catholic, yes. It's from the Catholic religion. Oh. And you know the... the life of jesus would be like reenacted on saturday a uh, friday and saturday there's like a reenactment of the life of jesus when he was uh crucified something like that it's for two days uh, i don't know christians have the have to be we have actually honest, <laughs> honestly in my case we don't do that because i'm not a Catholic anymore. Yeah. So uh but for the others they still do it, those ones in the Catholic religion. So they yeah. keep that uh they call it a very sacred tradition. So they have to do it from Wednesday up to Sunday. Yeah. Right? So oh, I didn't know for it long. I have a <laughs> serious restriction. However, again it depends on the family. If your family really practice the mm. the strict, the traditional way of you know celebrating the Holy Week, that would be the, the scenario. You really have to do the parade, fast. You go fasting. You what else? As you fast, you have a prayer. Yeah. As you do it, they do that strictly. But for the others, if it's not totally practiced in your family, though you're a Catholic. They also mm. don't do it. Mm. So it's, there's it's no, it changed. No choice. It's our choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. You have choice. Uh, I know I, it's mm -hmm. from uh, Spain. It's from the Spanish. Yes. Mm -hmm. when, uh, when they colonize the um, colony Philippines, they bring mm -hmm. the Catholic to, to the Philippines, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It's a but, very strong culture that we have. But the interesting, you guys don't speak Spanish. We do. Okay, I'll give you an idea about oh, it. If ever you visit Philippines, okay, we only tell time in two ways. English or Spanish. Because if we use Tagalog, it's very long. Yes. Oh, so you guys uh, have two major uh, majority languages, English and Spanish? English and Spanish. Because... For example, if you're here and you would ask somebody a Filipino, uh, excuse me, miss, what time is it? They would tell you either in English or in Spanish. But if you're a foreigner, most of the time they will they will tell you in English. And for Filipinos to Filipinos asking time, we usually answer in English regularly mm -hmm. and Spanish. Those two languages. That's what we do. So... Filipino, no. they speak three languages. One is you, uh, original one, <laughs> English one, Spanish. 
Yes. When it comes to time. When it comes to time. And majority of our words are English. Spanish, Spanish, right? There. Yeah. It, every Almost everything. Culture, food, even schools. Ed, oh, a lot. A lot. Oh, no, I've been there once. And Manila. Yeah. Ah, Manila. 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 And I went to the building. It's from Spain. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. I went there. Yeah. yeah yep, a lot. Cool. Mm -hmm. And universities. Our popular universities are from the Spanish period. So I think they just renovated or I don't know how they maintain the universities. Yeah. But sometimes it's still creepy when you're there because you creepy. can feel the floor <laughs> or the environment in the university. Um, they danger? Still... danger or? Um, not danger. Uh, <laughs> I cannot say not. There are portions... Yeah. In the universe, in that certain university, where the floor you can really hear the cracking sound. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. I found a Hello, Chloe. Oh, Chloe is here. Yeah, Chloe. There's Chloe. Hello, Chloe. Hello, Miss. Um, yes. Good please. evening. Thank you so much for informing me. Thank you. I was in the line for quite a while. So <laughs> and I was. <laughs> you found out no one's there and then <laughs> yes and no one was replying so i said the 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 first name among the students that i have in the list was your name because mm -hmm. it's letter c <laughs> so i said what if i message chloe and then you mentioned so thank you so much because i had no idea about it it's okay because so, uh we just transferred to like winter uh time zone till mm -hmm. uh Two days ago, I ah, think just two days ago, April second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long will it be? How long will you have that kind of um, time frame? It's only start with the summer, so it ends in I summer. See. Ah, okay. I see. I see. Yeah. Thank you for informing me there. I don't actually. I don't know who. Who am I gonna call about that? <laughs> so I decided it, like. Uh, it Miss May tell you that uh, it's the daily saving time. Actually, she didn't tell me about it. She mentioned the daily saving time, but she didn't mm -hmm. really mention when. Oh, okay. When. <laughs> so, so, and after you told me, I look at my Google. Ah, April 2. They started <laughs> April 2. <laughs> she set you up. <laughs> yes. So, thank you for informing me there. And it's by okay. the way, yeah, by the way, Chloe, Steph, and I were talking about the Holy Week. Uh, she was asking me about the Holy Week season. So, yeah. That's what we were talking about a few minutes ago. Before you arrived. Okay. So, it's also your holiday, right? Uh, yeah. Holidays. Uh, yeah, but I'm not working now. So, all, all uh, holidays. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're lucky. You're lucky. Yeah. Okay. So, I think we should uh, start already. Uh, by the way, Mods couldn't come because he said he was sick. He's sick. Yeah, so he said he, said he had this. a fever. And I think it's somehow the effect of the fasting as well. Because mm -hmm. I think today is the end of the fasting, the Ramadan, the Muslim fasting. Mm -hmm. So I think sometimes, you're right, it has changes in your body. So probably it has an effect too. So anyway, for while we wait for the others for today, uh, since this is a substitute class from Miss Nadine, what was your last lesson uh, in the we're class? Talking well, about the non clauses. Grammar. Ah, the non clauses, the grammar. Okay, because she mentioned to me too that you were doing also, you also did the speaking, a portion of the speaking. Am I right? Mm, not. No, week? not at yeah, not yet. Ah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So anyway, for today, we are going to start first with the letter writing. So this letter focuses more on making a request. So yeah. right when we make a request, it's either from a company, so that's quite formal, or you're making a request from just a friend, or maybe a colleague. Right, so at least there are some cases that 
your letter of request can be formal or informal. Oh, there's another. Emilio. Good evening, Emilio. Oh, it's my first time to meet you. Good evening. How are good you? Good evening. Teacher? I'm good. Emilio, I'm teacher Anna. Okay. And I am only the substitute teacher of Miss Nadine. Miss Darling. Yes, she is in a meeting right now. So I am the substitute teacher for today. Okay. okay. That's so great. To, yeah. today we are going to do first letter writing. So we'll focus on the letter of request. Okay. So I'll open first my Moodle. Have you ever made a letter of request? May I know? Uh, Who among so, you have made a letter of request? Uh, you mean like a uh, assignment? Yeah, yes, or maybe from work. If you're working, you you used to work. Were you yeah, able? sort of. How about you, yeah. Steffi? I do. I I wrote a letter from my Mm, that okay. How about you, Emilio? Have you tried making a letter of request? Are you working? Are you working now? Yes, I'm working. Okay. Okay. Have you tried making a letter of request? No, no, never. Not yet. Okay. Right. So thank you for informing me about that because today that will be our lesson. So I'll share my screen with you first. Okay. Here's the screen. I hope, can you see my screen? No yet. Not yet, okay. Ah, hold on. Yeah, it in, shows. You can see it now, okay. Yeah. I'll go first to your speaking to that there okay hold on week one week two okay here is a letter of request that you have they will give here different patterns on how to do it actually when you're making a letter of request it doesn't have to be very long but you have to make sure that uh, you'll be able to give that person the details you need because it's a request. So you have to make sure you give the enough details the person needed, okay? okay? So there is a video. Can you see the video? Okay, I'll try to, hopefully I can, okay, I'll stop sharing first. So I can, okay. You can watch the video first. And I'll share with you this. Please tell me if you can hear it. Hold on. Hello and welcome to another can you hear? educational video from Education yeah, Hub. Yeah, okay, Today we're going to be talking about IELTS letters, task one, and some tips and techniques to help you tackle task one of connection. the general training module. Okay, let's get started. First of all, the first thing that's important to do with the question is to understand it fully. One way of doing this is to underline keywords, uh, which is an essential thing to do. Um, the second is understanding the idea of the question. We need to be very clear of what the question is asking us to do. Mm -hmm. And by underlining the keywords and then moving on to our third point, paraphrasing the question, we can cement our understanding. Tip one. Understand the question and address all bullet points. Please take note this of this. This is the most common mistake in task one general. If there are three bullet points, then you are required, then you are required to address all three. Mm -hmm. Failure to do this will result in a lower task achievement score. Answer all bullet points fully, not necessarily with the same amount of detail. Okay, let me explain this to you. Now, there are always three bullet points uh, when you are given the task one in general training, the letter. And even if you have written over 150 words for the first two bullet points, you must make sure that you tackle the third part. Because for task achievement, um, to get a band six or higher, you must answer all parts of the bullet points. 
um, for you to get a band 7 or higher for task achievement, you must answer all bullet points fully with relation to the task. Now, they don't necessarily have to be all the same length. As you know from letters, not all the paragraphs are the same length. However, it's important that you understand each of the bullet points and answer them accordingly. One way to make sure you do this is to separate them into their own paragraphs. Let's have a look at a question for an example. Take note. Uh, this is an informal question and the question goes, a friend has agreed to look after your house and pet while you're on holiday. Write a letter to your friend. In your letter, one, give contact details for when you are away, two, give instructions about how to care for your pet, and three, describe other household mm -hmm. duties. Let's have a look at this question a little bit more detail. Okay, so if we look at keywords, we've got friend, look after, your house, and pet, but there's two things that they're going to be looking after, while you are on holiday. Okay, now the three things that we need to cover are we need to give contact details. We need to give instructions about how to care for the pet. And we need to describe other household duties. Now, one way of making sure that we cover all three parts here is to very quickly draw the three columns. And in these three columns, we have our key information. So the first one here, you can see we've got contact details. We have instructions about how to care for the pet. And we've got other household duties. Now, very quickly looking at them, we could think which ones, which paragraphs, Mr. Letter, which paragraphs would be most detailed. Now, it would be quite, quite obvious that it's not the first one. In the first one with the contact details, we could possibly give an email. Um, we could give a phone number. We could give the name of the place where we are staying. Okay, but the first part, the first um, paragraph here will not really require too much information. So I would um, predict that the first paragraph here would not be the longest paragraph. The second one, giving instructions, um, depending on what type of pet it is, but we would talk about food, we could talk about grooming, um, we could talk about health, we could talk about, um, well, with food, we could talk about food and diet. And we could give reasons for these things. Explanations. So this paragraph already, you can see, is becoming more detailed. Now, other household duties, again, this one could be quite long, or especially longer than the first one, where we could include information such as um, cleaning, um, leaving lights on, Um, and so on. We could talk about different household duties that need to be um, done. Uh, another one we could talk about would be gardening, possibly. So as you can see, with the question, by taking some notes for each part of the bullet points, we make sure that we include details for each one and separate them into different paragraphs. Okay, let's have a look at another example. The next one is a formal um, question, and this one is, you have just brought a mobile phone from a website on the internet. When it was delivered, the phone was faulty. Mm -hmm. Write a letter to the website. In the letter, introduce yourself, explain the situation, state what action you want to be taken. Okay, so let's go back to our Word document here. 
and we'll look at it in the same way. So again, we, it's very important to know what the tone is here. The register is formal. The question, you've just bought a new mobile phone. And we've bought it from a website. Okay. Uh, when it was delivered, the phone was faulty, meaning that there was something wrong with it. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to break it down into different parts. Now, the first one is introducing ourselves. So of course we would give our no name. name. Yeah. Um, we might introduce the purpose of the letter. We might um, mention the product number. We might mention the product name. You can also mention the purchase. Okay, so as you can see with the first the purchase one, date. although we wouldn't need to include all of these details, um, it gives us some options, and this paragraph can be quite detailed, not necessarily as detailed as the next two, but it needs some some detail. The first one here with explaining the situation and um, what we would need to do is the process. So we would talk about the fact that we um, found the phone on the website and we probably need to mention the website mm -hmm. if we haven't done, done so already. Um, talk about the fact that it was delivered to the house um, when we tried to turn it on it didn't work so we need to have some kind of fault with it whether it be broken incomplete etc. And the last one is suggestions, what we would like them to do. So there are, there are different types of suggestions that we could make. Um, and again, it's, it's nice to be very specific about this. So we'd say we want them to replace the phone. We want a refund of our money. Um, we would like them to offer us a free phone. We might want a, not a suggestion, we might want an explan explanation of the problem, okay, etc. So again, as you can see, by outlining um, the the letter that we're going to be using and highlighting the key words, we can be very sure of achieving a high score and task achievement because we have a good understanding of the letter and we have information that mm. we can include. Okay. That ends the video. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Okay, for a moment. Okay, so oh, there you are, Alvin, by you and Ken Lu, and Rayland also. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Yes. Good yes. Teacher. How are How are all of you? Mm. All yes, good, so friends, bad. teacher. Good. So far, so good. Okay. So, uh, but by the way, today we are going to do a letter of request. So we'll start first with writing a letter. So this one can be written or you can you can also use this style in sending an email. But the letter is about making a request. So have you seen the video, Ken Lu, Alvin, Not yet. and Steffi? Okay. Yeah. I'll give you uh maybe because 
uh, the video is quite long, but let me just show you. Uh, okay, give me a few seconds on this. Okay, I'll just go first to. Okay, have you made a letter of request before? Uh, Ken Lu, Rayland, Alvin, and Bayou. Yeah, or I think the uh, request right. about uh, something. Request letter. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you made before? Okay, that's good. At least you have an idea about it. Okay. So here we have. I'll show you now. I'll share my screen with you again. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Here it is from your lesson today. So you've seen the video. The video is explaining how are you going to make a letter of request and somehow give a pattern to your writing. Especially if you're, you have a writing, you have a time limit to do that. So you really need to organize your thoughts. That's the, the common challenge you have when you are writing. Same goes with speaking. Organizing your thoughts at a limited time. That's why that pattern they showed, like, okay, let me see. Maybe instead of playing the video, okay, I'll go back to what he said. Okay. Product name. Okay, hold on. The first one is introducing a situation. State what action you want to be taken. Need okay. to be Let's go first um, here. Okay, for, for the ones who weren't able to see the video. So this is a sample a letter of request. This is a sample prompt, and it needs only an informal letter. Okay, so they mentioned here, a friend has agreed to look after your house and pet. While you are on holiday, while you are on holiday. So write a letter to your friend. In your letter, this one is not totally yet about the request, okay? This is just a sample on how to do the letter yeah. and to give you technique on how you can organize your ideas, okay? Please remember, like what the guy here mentioned, you really need to focus and answer the three bullets that you see. Number one here is give contact details for when you are away. Give instructions about how to care for your pet and describe the three describe other household duties. So you only have a limited time to do this. So the easiest one you can do is to make your columns like this, a table like this. How do you do this? It's here. The first point in the bullet is contact details. The second one is instructions. And the third one is household duties. So all the details that you see here under the contact details will support the bullet number one. Okay. Yes. So the details will vary because this is just, it's not a letter of request. This is just another kind of letter. Okay. But the main point for bullet one is contact details. So you give email, your phone number, or maybe name of the place where you are going because your friend will be taking care of your pet. So she and your house. So it means your friend also needs to know where you are. So in case of emergency, she can contact you. So another one would be the second bullet is instructions. Now, of course, you're leaving your house and pet to your friend. She doesn't know your routine in the house. So you have to inform that person. First about your pet. What does your pet eat? It's very important. Do all of you have pets? Do you have pets? Who has pets? No. Oh, what's your I know. Okay, Chloe, what's your pet? Uh, it's a cat, but it's in Taiwan, uh, my mom take take care of him now. Ah, okay. How about the others? Other than Chloe, no more pets? No, I don't have pets at pets. the moment. Oh, okay. In my case, I have oh, a lot. A lot of dogs. Almost 10 dogs in the house. And more than 10 cats. So, not in this house, but in the other house. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
so many. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's very difficult to ask someone to take care of them because they're big dogs. Doberman, they're Doberman, they're Belgian, others are small dogs. So <laughs> there's someone taking care of them. So give instructions, please, about the diet of the dog. The grooming, how are you going to give a shower to the dog? Does your dog, does the dog or pet take vitamins? So the health part and the reasons. The reasons. So you have to take, give a shower to the dog for, for two minutes only because the dog gets cold very easily. Something like that. Give instructions and explanations as well. Okay? And for the bullet number three, this time, because you're going to leave the house to your friend also, so you need to tell what will be the household chores to be done. So it can be cleaning, leaving the lights on, and gardening. They also mentioned here. It depends. Okay? But this example just show how are you going to put details in every point for the bullet. They are not in sentence form, so it is your responsibility to put them in sentence form. These are just your guides, so you can easily write. So you can easily write. Okay? So same goes with the other example. This one is about the phone. Yeah. The person bought a mobile phone on website. Do you buy your mobile phones through internet, online shopping? Who has done that? The one have you buy the Apple? Uh -huh. Have you done buying uh or have you experienced buying a cell phone online? Not really, but my boyfriend did. Oh, me too. Yeah. I haven't. I really go to the store. Bayou, how about you? Have you bought a cell phone online? Uh sometime, yeah. I do the oh. online. Oh okay. <laughs> How about the others? How about uh Emilio? Have you tried buying a phone online? Sorry, teacher, can you repeat me, please? Again? Have you have you tried buying a cell phone online? No, never. Never. Okay. I, Actually, I prefer... me... uh huh. You prefer? Yeah, I prefer go to the store and to the store. I'm, I'm buy there personally. The yeah. Okay. How about you, Rayland? Have you tried buying cell phone online? Is oh, is Rayland there? Hold on. No, he's oh. mute. He's he's on mute. Yeah. Okay, Rayland, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, have you tried buying a cell phone online? Ah, uh, never. Never. Never experienced that. Right. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. In Philippines, we go to the store, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even here. <laughs> okay, so this is a sample that you could experience. You bought a mobile phone online, but when it arrived home, it was faulty. There was a problem. So, of course, it's online, so it's very difficult to visit the company where you bought it. Yeah. So, it would only be through an email, right? Where you can give, where you can send your complaints. So, this one is a sample. Okay? Now, the three bullets here would be introduce yourself, explain the situation. And state what action you want to be taken. Please take note that if you really want to have a good score here, answer all the three questions. The three bullets, rather. Cover all the three points that would be taken here. Okay? So, again, you will be doing the same thing. Like the first, the first part, it's still here. i sorry here right the first bullet is introduce yourself and then explain the situation and the action you want right and let's see okay i'll just 
post everything that would be here. You can take a look at it. For those who didn't see the full video. Okay. So all the details under introduce yourself would be here. That's bullet one. All the details about explaining the situation would be here. And then the action you want. Of course, there is a problem with the phone. So what do you want them to do? Here. <clears throat> you can replace the phone. Ask them to replace your phone or let them give you a refund or give you a free phone or whatever. Whatever it is you want them to do. So these are only your guide as you do your writing. You have to turn them into sentences. Okay? That is now your responsibility. This is now just for you to save time. And at the same time, you organize your thoughts. So if ever, this one would be paragraph one, this one is paragraph two, and this one is paragraph three. At some point, your letter will appear like that. So your letter is very important. Uh, it's very important to have you know, you, you're able to follow a pattern in typing it or writing it so it will look very clean. That is very important. So for today, I'll stop sharing my screen. Do you have questions? By the way, before I move on, do you have questions about the video? Please tell me who has questions about the video. Who has questions about the video? Hello, Faru. Do you have questions about the video? Okay. So I'll share with you my... Okay. I'll stop this one first. Okay. Here we go. So we're here now. This is a sample letter. This is a letter of request. Okay, I'll share with you my screen again. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see my screen? Okay. Okay. How can I... Okay. This is... Can you see your Moodle? May I ask if you can see your Moodle lesson on your own, not my screen. On Moodle, what? Can you see your Moodle? For those who can see your, your Moodle, you can open to... This is Red 5? Red 5? Yes, Red 5. Go to Red okay. 5 and then go to Week 2. Week two. Yes. And then from week two, you can check their uh, writing. Letter writing. Letter writing. Letter of request. Can you see? Yep. Okay. You found it? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. That would be the letter of request. You, have, you probably now have the same topic <laughs> with me. Okay, how about your Rayland, Alvin, Faru, Steffi, uh, Hello, yeah, yeah. Emilio? Yeah, I, I already seen yeah I did already, uh, teacher. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you, you can have a very clear copy of it. It's very important you could see. Okay, okay. so the, you're done with the video. You can see vocabulary, right? These yep. are just sample vocabulary words you can use here in this sample letter. Okay. This letter of request is from a student. He wanted to change the course he is doing. So he is re requesting his professor to allow him to change the course he is doing. Okay? okay. So here are the vocabulary words that he can do to put on the blanks. Okay? To put them on the blanks. Do you want us to do this now, or would you like to do it by yourself as an example, as your practice? These are all the words you can put here. Actually, here, this part, 
if you can see, these ones are the choices for this. Okay. For this. So maybe you can, oh, okay. you can do this as part of your practice at home. Anyway, this is vocabulary also that you can use. Okay? So can you please read this part? Can I ask? Let's start with Chloe. This part, yeah. please. Mm -hmm. the, the vocabulary. The vocabulary, yes. Yeah. Reason, okay. urgent priority, delighted, mm -hmm. sincerely, accepted. Mm -hmm. Obtain, beginning, essential, relevant, mm -hmm. uh, relevant. Relevant. Yeah. Okay. Relevant, intended. Intended. Second, uh, circumstances. Circumstances. Uh, and current. And currently. Okay. So all these words you must be able to put in the blanks. May I know what are the words that you are unfamiliar with? In this group, words you don't know. Be honest. So, because these words are very useful in making your request. Okay. How about the others? Alvin, Bayou, Faris, Steffi. Are there oh. words here that you don't know? You're okay with the words? Uh, actually, I'm cool boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Honestly, these words are very common words that you can use. Okay. They look very, uh, maybe for others, it's common. For others, it's new. But these words are words you can also use in your letter of request. Uh, sorry, Miss. Uh, what's the mean circumstances? Ah, circumstances can be situations. Uh, uh, different incidents that can happen to you every day those are circumstances so this is a letter from the person from a student okay now okay maybe we can okay can you do it for two minutes can you answer it for two minutes because as you answer you can see how the letter goes Okay. Are you okay with two minutes? Can you do it? Or yeah. three? Uh, Let's make it three. How we do the answer, Miss? Where? Where okay. we do the answer? You will choose. You will choose here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. But uh, mm. we're writing in... We can do notebook. in the chat book or notebook? Just in your notebook. Okay. So at least you have a source if you look yes. at it again. Okay. okay. Just Thank don't you. forget to label, okay? okay? It's letter of request. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you three minutes is enough for you to answer. For oh, answer so on the sentence? Yes, just put the correct words in the line. Because yes. as you answer, you will have a sample letter. You can see how, how is the flow of the letter. So we will do the same thing later. So okay, you can start now. Just tell me if you're done. I'll give you uh, maybe three minutes to do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, it's done. Okay, let's maybe we can try this together. Okay, I'll read and then give me your answer. Okay, I am right, uh, dear Mr. Jones. I am writing to ask whether it is possible to change my course. I am. What's your answer? What's your Currently. answer? Currently. 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 Are there others who have different answer? No. Okay. Number one is currently. I am currently studying on a general English program and I wanted... What was that? And I wanted... And I would like to enroll on an academic IELTS course instead. Okay, the next blank. What's your answer? A reason. A reason. Reason. Okay. The reason why I would like to change my course is that I do not believe the, the general English course is relevant. Is, okay. Is relevant to me. Relevant. Yes. Because it is essential essential for students who mm -hmm. wish to improve no not essential who has another answer again uh, the reason why priority? i would like to change relevant no uh, okay there we... intended intended uh, again intended. The reason why I would like to change my course is that I do not believe the general English course is relevant to me because it is intended for students. It means it is for. It is intended for students who wish to improve their social English. Their social English. Okay, now the next one. My? My urgent priority. priority. Very good. Yes, my urgent priority are that I require a band seven in order to be intended. In order to be accepted. Order accepted, be yes. Accepted. In order to be accepted on the master's program at Monash University. So that's accepted. Unless I... Oh, you know this. Unless I... Obtain. Obtain. Very good. Obtain. Obtain or the word get or have. That one is okay. But here, because there's the word obtain, unless I obtain this score by the... Beginning. Beginning. Okay, very good. Okay. Beginning of the next academic the year, beginning. I will lose my place on the course and will need to return to my country. Oh, if he couldn't pass that, he needed to go back if he didn't get seven. So he really needed it urgently. So this being the case, I believe that it is... Okay. Again, others? 
How about the others? What's the answer? Oh, essential. essential. Okay, essential that I get tuition in academic writing and IELTS skills. I understand that this may that it may be difficult to change my course mid semester, but this is an Again. Circumstances. Mm. Uh, actually, here, uh, I was looking so, at it also, fee, uh, also last night and the other day, and today also, a few hours ago. I understand that it may be difficult to change my course mid-semester, but this one can be essential also. An essential okay. friend. Because we already use reason. Uh, but this is, yeah. I think is circumstance. But this is, but mm. because it's an, yeah, we yeah, cannot yeah, use yeah, circumstance. Yeah. yeah. Right? This is an. If it would help, I would be blank to discuss. I would be delighted. Delighted. That's delighted. Oh, the last one is delighted. Ah, there's one more. Of course, you know the ending. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, maybe the maybe there's just an error with typing of an. So this one can also be circumstance, actually. But this is a circumstance for it. But because it's an, so maybe there's just... Right? It's the only thing left. So maybe it's not an. It's a. Very good there, by ah. Maybe it's a. Yeah. Instead of circumstances. Right? Okay. Yeah. Because we already used everything. So, okay. oh, very good observation. So, you also have to take note of that. Very good. So, it means you know your grammar. Okay. So, as we answer the, the sample letter, you will do the same thing. However, the prompt is different. If you can see there in your Moodle, you can find their informal phrases for your opening. It's a sample. Okay? It's a sample. So later when you do it, you can find, you can choose at least one here for your letter. And mm -hmm. then this is only for the opening of your letter. So I am writing in connection with, the purpose of this letter is to, so you can choose any of this, just one. Okay. Yep. Another one is making a request. This time, what is your request? <laughs> so these are the guide phrases you can use. Just to show you're also polite because you're making a request. So there are many lists here. You can choose one. one. You can choose yep. one. Okay? Yep. You can choose one here. And what else? For explanation, of course, you will mention your request, but you have but to explain. What is that request for? So now you can choose here again. Okay, you have the list with you. Okay, again, choose one. Okay, <laughs> just choose one. These are only your guide phrases, okay? You can choose one if you want, but if you have another version of that, okay. Do it. And of course, ending. A letter must have an ending. You have to close your letter. So, you can choose. Here in the list. But then again, if you have your own way of writing it, you can do it so we can see if that is appropriate or not. But these ones are samples for you that you can use. Anyway, you will only use one. You can use all this in that letter. Okay? Yeah. Do you have questions here? No. Okay, you can choose. Please, if you have vocabulary words that you think are related to your request, letter of request, please use them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Again, I told you before, your vocabulary is needed. It's needed. And use it appropriately. 
So, of course, here are just some parts for you. My name is, right? You can see it. Yep. My name is, of course, you have to mention your name because you're asking for a request. Right? And you can see it there. See? My name is James Kennedy and I lost my bag on a bus journey last Friday. So, start. I am, there you go. It's up to you on how you are going to do it. Are you ready for your letter of request topic? Can you see it there? So, that's your letter for request topic for today. You are applying for a job and need a letter of reference from someone who knew you when you were at school. Write a letter to one of your old teachers requesting a reference. Are you familiar of a letter of reference? Who knows a letter of reference? Who knows? Can you share about what you know about it? A letter of reference is also similar with a letter of recommendation. Because you graduated and you're applying for a job, and of course, the company that would hire you needs some, you know, some information about you, about your skills, about your character, your performance in school. Did you do well? Do you have awards or honors in school? So they needed that also. So some companies would ask you to make a letter of reference. It's similar with your uh, recommendation, like a letter of recommendation. Okay? So what you have to do there is, in your letter, say what job you have applied for. Please try to follow the table we had in the video, if you can do that. Explain why you want this job. Suggest what information the teacher should include. Again, you're asking a letter from your teacher. Oh. Like a letter of reference or recommendation. So make sure that teacher knows you. Okay? Make sure that teacher knows you. Okay? Just one teacher. And make sure you are able to answer the bullets here. That one, once you do that, you'll be able to get at least seven. So that one could already give you a good score. Right? At least you're able to target it. It could possibly give you a seven. And if your grammar is correct also in your sentences. Okay? Any question? Question. Follow the same. Try to figure out and practice the what you saw in the video. And you have to do it quickly also. Remember, you're given at least 20 minutes only for this or less for you to finish. You have a limited time. So that's what you are going to do today. Okay, do you have any questions? I need to know if you have questions. So before we have the break, uh, I know if you have questions before you do it after the break time. Any question? Mm, Are you sure? Um, Alvin, Chloe, Raylan, Kalu, Faru, Bayou, and Steffi. Question. Come on, you can ask. So before you start your writing later, you know what to do already. If you have questions, don't leave it in your mind, you ask. So we can process the writing later properly. Like, any questions? I can see in the faces of some of you, you have questions. Come on, ask it now. Because later you, ha you have, a, right? There's time limit for doing your writing writing activity. Exam. So any question? Alvin, do you have uh -huh. a question? Is I'll start with you. Uh, <laughs> I'll start is, uh... with you. Mm, mm -hmm. Can I ask uh, the writer of a request is uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, is uh, the is the below one? Uh, we just 
uh, say mm -hmm. uh, what job you have applied for start from that one right yes, yes those are your bullets it means those ones will be included in your letter understand the three, right you have three the yes. same yes uh, those three they yes. should be in your letter they should yes. I understand those three yes okay so, so we, we don't uh, forget excuse me mm -hmm. uh, so we use these three bullets for our yes later yes you have to make sure that in your letter you include those three you have three. to answer those three Yes, but make sure, of course, it's a letter you have dear, right? Dear, who is your teacher? If you know your teacher's name. Because mm -hmm. you need to write, right, to your teacher. For one letter. And ask for, yes. So, your te you need to ask for a letter of reference to your teacher. Okay. Okay? It's like your, your teacher will make a letter of recommendation for you. You need that for your job, right? You know, companies need that, right? So they know that you really do well in school, right? So it's coming from your teacher. But you have to make a request to your teacher using that letter, request letter, okay? So the three bullets that you see, those are the three guide 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 points when you are about to make your letter of request okay for example dear miss chloe chloe is my teacher for example dear miss chloe i am writing this letter up uh, i'll change i would like to i am annaline calderon i was your student uh like let's say three years ago for example and uh, what else could you put? I'm a student there three years ago, and I used to be your biology class student and also the vice president of the student council where you are the advisor, something like that. So I am currently applying for a job as a nurse, as a registered nurse in, a, in East Hospital, but I needed to submit a letter of reference to my company, to whatever company you're applying for, to the company I am applying for. Please include, it says there, right? Include, include. Please include, uh, please in include my performance as a student in your, uh, as a student in some of your subjects and as a leader in the student council. Something like that. So you see, the points are there. Three. Again, it's a letter of request. It doesn't have to be very long. You're not making a full essay. Okay? It's just a letter. Ask your teacher to make a letter of reference for you. Okay? That's all you're going to put. Try your best. So have your break first. I'll give you five minutes break. And when we come back, we can start writing. Okay? So have your break first for five minutes. Yeah, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.
Okay, everybody here? You're back. Who is not here? If you can do. Who is her? Bayou. Ah, oh, Bayou's there. Raylan's there. Emilio. Emil. Emilio is missing. <laughs> Um, I wanted to show you this one. Okay. It can help you with how to start it. Can you see request number two in your Moodle? Yeah. There's a sample, right? My name is James Kennedy. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Request number two. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Number two. Yes. Okay. Can you all see it? Request number two. Yes. yes. Okay. My name is James Kennedy. That's your, for example, your name. State your name. My name is Lang and I studied what school? Right? You need to also mention. And then I am writing to ask for a reference because you're asking for a reference because I am going to start a new job. And then do the bullet, the three bullets. Do the three bullets. Make sure you, you do, you include all the details for the three bullets. Can you remember this one? Here. I am applying for a job, right? Yeah. Uh, I am applying as, for example, as, what is it? What do you, what's your job? What job do you, it depends on what job you are applying for and then the company where you are applying, right here. So it's very short. Explain why you want this job. How important is that job? So you can mention, I am applying as a registered nurse in East Medical Center. This job is very important to me because this will be the first job that I will have. And it will give me enough finances for my family. And it's a way for me to also practice my profession as a registered nurse. So just explain why you want the job. Because your teacher needs to know why you really like to work there. And then suggest what information the teacher should include. Because your teacher doesn't know what she will put in the reference. So you can include there, the reference can include my performance as a leader in the student council and as your student in your biology class. So it will be a recommendation coming from your teacher. So she will be making a letter for you. Okay, that's why you're requesting her to make a letter of reference for you. So this will be your guide. Okay, so I'll give you time now to start writing your letter of request. Please take note, it's a letter of request. You can go up again from for the example. There's an example, right? With Mr. Jones, but this is a student. This is a student. Okay, so you can start writing now. You can use the phrases that you see in the list. At least pick one for each of them. So it can be your guide also. You don't have to use all. Just pick one for each. It will help you with your writing. Okay, so I'll let you start your writing, your letter writing now. Please, if you know your teacher's name, just use that dear and the name. What's your teacher's name? Okay, so please imagine everybody, I'll stop my sh share screen first. Okay, I'll give you time for this. Everybody, imagine you just graduated. Okay, you just graduated from college. Okay, and then you are applying for a job. You're applying for a job. Of course, you need to pass many papers, right? Requirements for that job. And one requirement is letter of reference. 
you, that company wants to get a letter of reference from you. But that one can only be given by someone who knew you very well in the university. So that's your professor. That's your teacher. So pick at least one teacher that you think you know. You think you know very well and knows you very well when you were in college. Imagine, write a letter to her or to him. Ma'am, for example, only not, not exactly like this, okay? Ma'am, I needed you. For Imagine you're asking her, ma'am, I need a letter of reference because my company, the company needs it. I am applying for a job. Something like this. That's just the idea. Okay? Imagine, once more, imagine you're, you just graduated and you're applying for a job. Okay, you need a letter of reference or recommendation from your professor in the university. Okay, so that's what you are going to make. Okay, so you can start doing it now. It doesn't have to be very long. Okay, it doesn't have to be very long. Just please tackle the three points, the three bullets there that you have. Okay? Send to send to chat room, teacher. Uh, no, in your just write it on your paper. If you have oh. a paper with you, okay, okay. Just write okay. it on your paper. Okay. Yeah, and please just send to the we WeChat the WeChat app. Remember, in the intake three, just send it there so I can see it. Okay, and I'll check it. It's better that you write it so you can check your errors easily than typing it in the chat box. Okay, you can start now. Please think simply, but choose your vocabulary words. You are about to enter a company. So you are now a professional. So your words must contain words that fit a profession. Okay. Imagine. Be careful with grammar, please. Again, the, the phrases that are there, the informal phrases, you can choose one for each to guide you. Okay? It will help you. Just choose one for each part. It can help you. Please don't forget the three bullet points. Make sure you include them in your writing. It's just a letter, okay? It's just a letter of request. It's not a full essay. Okay, Steffi, you have a question? Steffi? I'm writing now. I'm writing now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I could see a hand. <laughs> so I thought you're asking questions, going to ask questions. Please, as you write and you need, you have questions in your mind, just continue writing. We'll tackle it later so you can follow the time. I'll give you around maybe 20 minutes to do it. What time is it with you? Do I know what time is it with you? 7.12.
Oh, it's already 7.12. You can use some vocabulary words there in the list. You can find, you can use them. Currently, it's your priority anyway because you're applying for a job. So you can use that. Sorry, teacher, my, my, my laptop a little bit like leg. So I, 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 I turn off and I, I, I open again. I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah.
Hi, teacher. A teacher? I can't hear you. You you unmute. Yep. Yes, can do. Um, can I just send you on the chat box? Or yep. Because... It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you think, okay, if you think you find it more comfortable sending it in the chat box, okay, you can do it. Okay, can Lou? Yes. Can Lou? Okay. Yes, teacher. Can Lou, you have a really good opening. It's a good opening. You state direct. You were able to state what's your main point, main focus for your letter. You're asking for a reference letter. It's good. However, you don't you don't need any more to put, as you can see from the attached cover letter and resume. Because you won't be you won't be giving your letter and resume to your teacher. That one is for the company. You just need to ask a letter from your teacher. Okay, no need for that one. So you can remove that already. Okay, so no need, as you can see from that one, no need for that one. Yep. Okay, but it's good. The opening is good. What do you mean by your in addition, that sentence? In addition, from the knowledge and exposure, I will get from the knowledge and exposure. What do you mean? Because you have a comma. How do you want to say it? Oh, um, maybe I just write it wrong. It's not in addition. I say like a, ah. on the hand. In, on, in, uh, like on the I other want hand. To like a, yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Because I, yeah. I'm when I am reading it, I think this is what's running on your mind, and you just typed it. Am I right? Yes. Okay, that's why it's it. I can see it from here. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, in addition, I would. Okay. Okay, you can remove, uh, can Lu, you can remove from the knowledge and exposure until yeah. I will get from the company. And you can include that somewhere after the I would love to work. Yep. You know what I mean? You can still yeah, use yeah. the same detail, but yeah. not in that position. Not in that position. Find some place where you can put it. Oh, is this true? Is this somehow true, Kanlu? 
What What does it mean? What What is a two or something? Like when you were, for example, you were applying for. No, no, uh, no. That is a not job. Two. Or have you no. really worked? Ah, okay. Okay. No, okay. I'm just walking in the restaurant, <laughs> but just I like I just mix it up, make it up. Ah, okay, okay. I got it. Okay, please be careful, Kalu, with yeah. your choice of words. Okay, check that out. The also, that sentence with the also. Okay. And your your closing remark, your closing in your letter, the thank you, that sentence, yeah. please try to figure out the grammar error there. Very simple grammar error. Very, very simple grammar error. So can you just say again? Teacher? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Look at your ending, right? Your yeah. closing part in your letter. Thank you for your help and look forward to hearing from you. And look forward. Yes. yes. And I am looking forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's done, Ken. Thanks, teacher. It's done. Very good. Very good. Just make sure to follow the changes I told you to make. If you need yeah. to remove the also, right? The also, please check your grammar there. Yes. And yes. the one I told you to remove, find a position in your writing where you can put that because that one is good. It's just written in a different position. It shouldn't be there. Yeah. In addition, the one with in addition, but keep the in addition. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Very good. Can Lou, you're still there? Yes, miss. Okay, just keep a little bit of formality instead of saying hi. You can use dear if ever. But hi is okay if you're maybe doing it as an email. And if you yes. really have continuous communication with your teacher, that is okay. But yeah, if yeah. it will be your first time again to do it, please use dear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would say like it would yeah. have. <laughs> yeah. But if you're close to your teacher and you're keeping in touch in email or you have constant communication with your teacher, then that's okay. Yeah. But remember the formality a bit. Yes. Okay, very good. What's the challenge when you're doing it, Ken? Um, the the big the big challenge for me is the grammar. I'm so yes. crazy with grammar. So I know, like, uh, the my closing. I I know what like, the sentence will be like. Uh, I am looking forward. But when I write in, mm -hmm. I like the mm -hmm. habit when I just speaking. So I mm. forget about it. I know that's mistake, yes. but I try. I like keep make that mistake again and again. So uh, practice on that. Um, yeah. Yes. Watch out on that because 
it doesn't mean that that one is playing in your mind and that's what you want to say that will be put in writing. Because this yep. is a letter and you know the grading system here, right? It's very technical. So you have to observe formality as well. Yep. Yep. So, but this is good. It's good already. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good job for this. Okay. Who are finished? You can also send to WeChat or if you find it more comfortable sending here in the chat here in Zoom, you can do it also. Please write your name, okay? So I would know that it's, that it's you. So teacher send to uh yeah. red online or okay red online is okay also red online okay is okay. Too. yep so I can see it also I actually copied can lose work in word okay okay thank you Alvin <laughs> I received it oh you cannot laugh while you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you laugh I'm very nervous, you know. You know? Uh, Alvin. Alvin. Next time, next time I don't want to send the I send for your person. <laughs> Alvin, don't Alvin, don't worry. Don't worry because I used to be a nurse, so I can understand. You know why? This... Because the, the laptop already uh, Yes, your jam. laptop stopped. It's okay, no problem. It, it jam, huh? I can't see anything as so I I really nervous, you know. I and I I can't remember anything. And so you, you I, cannot see, you cannot see the guide, right? Yeah, okay. crazy. I nervous, nervous, you know. Oh, I see. Oh my god, I don't know. Okay. Why. <laughs> no, 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 Alvin, your your style is just a little bit so friendly in the letter. <laughs> okay, the sentences are okay. The idea is okay, but the sentences are quite in a very friendly way. But oh. this is a letter of request, right? So you have to make sure your sentence is a little bit formal, okay? You sound very friendly to your teacher here. You, okay. You understand what I'm writing? Oh, I yes. understand myself. Mm. Thank you so much. I, I understand teacher. your... Sorry, teacher, to interrupt. Could you, I, can I sure, just sure. finish early today, please? Ah, okay, okay. I'll yeah. just take note of it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. Bye, teacher. Thank you for that. Okay. Five, six, thirty. Wait, I'll just take note of it. I'm I'm reading it, Alvin. Sorry, very hard to read, huh? <laughs> because I I can read it. Don't worry, <laughs> I can read it. Oh my god! Your your writing is still okay. Don't worry. I'm just figuring out what you wanted to say in some part. This is discipline. 
You're talking about discipline. Yeah, yeah, discipline. Yeah. Right? Yeah, discipline. Okay. <laughs> check your spelling. Alvin, check the spelling of discipline. Yeah, I check now. <laughs> okay. Oh, Steffi, how's your laptop? Okay, hold on. Uh, I got your point, Alvin. <laughs> Alvin, Alvin. Yes, I'm Can here. Make, make make the sentence more formal. Not very friendly to your teacher, okay? Yeah, best friend. <laughs> yeah, you sound like your best friends. Oh my god. Okay. You can start with look at the informal phrase. Look at the first one. I am writing this letter, right? You can use that. I am writing this letter. Uh I am writing this letter as a request. Or because I like to make a request for mm -hmm. I am writing this letter to ask for a reference because I am going to start a new job. Hmm. Or Alvin, first part, tell your name first. My name is Alvin. My name is Alvin, right? My name is Alvin. I studied what school? Your school name. Yeah. I studied in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. yeah. This writing is to ask for a reference from you. You can use that because why you can use you here because you already have dear and then the teacher's name. So you're already talking to her. So you don't, yeah, because very friendly here, Alvin. Very friendly. Okay. Because uh, I don't know how to say. Normally now we are just have WhatsApp with friends. Okay. No need, no, Alvin, no need for... Uh, <laughs> very hard. Oh, yeah. You can start with. Oh, you have here. Okay. You wrote, right? I write this letter for you. Okay. Mm. No need for I write this letter for you because you will say this letter, I am writing this letter to ask for a letter of reference, to ask for a reference. You can already use that. So no need to say I write this letter for you. No need for that. Okay. And okay. I get it. I am looking for a new job. Okay. You mentioned already new job. That's okay already. I am writing this letter because I want to ask a reference from you. Uh, I am going to start a new job. The company is a cheese. Wait. What is this, Alvin? Cheese? <laughs> uh, a cheese, do you know? Cheese eat the yeah. cheese. Cheese. What? Cheese. Cheese. Uh, um, uh, manufacturing, manufacturing, uh, or, manufacturing, uh, manufacturing, manufacturing, yes, uh, okay, factory, cheese manufacturing factory, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, my god, no, I understood what you mean, cheese manufacturing company. Last time I I nervous I write out the teacher totally not understand <laughs> because it's my first job and many people 
Ah, okay, you can say manufacturing company. This is my first job. And mm -hmm. the company wants more information about me. Uh, right? Yeah. That's yep, what yep. you mean, right? And the company wants more information about me. Your, you can mention your letter of reference will help me. Will help me. Right? Your letter of reference will help me. Yep. In giving more, uh, will help me in the application for the cheese factory. Yep. Okay, very, uh, this is good. The company needs very disciplined employee and punctual. And ah, the company needs very disciplined and punctual employee. Oh, good. Oh. And your reference, okay. Now I'm figuring out your reference. And your reference will help support the this one, the qualifications they need. Period. Okay. Uh, Alvin, your writing is like a combination of a friendly letter and a business letter. Oh. Your writing is like that. I understand. Yeah. It became, it seems like you already know the owner of the company. And yeah, in here. So, okay. Alvin, if you have, uh, if you can revise your work, yeah. I your thoughts are very good. Your ideas are very good. It's in the manner of how you write your sentences. Yeah. Actually, the sentences, some are in good grammar, but very friendly. More, more serious is good, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can. Because you need a job, right? You need a job. Yeah. It's for a company. Make it a little bit like that. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Same idea. Same idea. Just yeah. the sentence. Just the sentence flow. Okay? No need anymore. How are you, Miss Angela? Sometimes it's okay. The how are you, Miss Angela? That's okay. But not anymore. Do you remember me like this? Mm. Okay? Because you already said your name and then yeah. where you studied. So, yeah. yeah. Okay? Your ideas are good. Ideas are good, out. Just how you write the sentence. Okay? Please try it again if you have time and send it again in intake. Yeah. Okay? I, I again, okay? Uh, do it. Do it. Yeah. So yeah. it will help you. Yeah. And who else? Chloe. You have very good reasons, Alvin. You have very good reasons. It's your first job and the company is looking for disciplined and punctual employees. And teacher Carol knows you. You're good in that. So, yeah. very good points. Your sentence. Yeah. Just the sentence, okay? Yeah. Make it more formal. This is Chloe. Okay. Chloe, very good beginning. Chloe? Yeah. Please arrange the during four years learning. There's just very minimal grammar error there. Yeah. Okay. So how should I like that? You can use during or within the four years of learning in that institution in the school or in the university make oh, it more that, like, extended and... yes extended okay. it's a little bit hanging
And also the what competition I won for the elderly caring project in the reference. Hmm. That one too. I just arrange the 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 clause there. And what competition I won for the elderly caring project in the ref in the reference. Mm -hmm. Make it a bit clearer. Please. Okay. Okay, Chloe. Good job. It's good. Um, so uh you said uh the competition I won. Yeah. I should just like get that part. more details. Make no make just make the sentence a little bit clearer. What do you mean there? I would because you want her to to put in the in the reference about your anatomy class, your performance in the anatomy class, and what competition I won. Uh, what do you mean? Because I, um, I said, I, I want to say that uh, I won a competition for the elderly caring project, but how should um, I use it for a, a non clothes Anatomy class and and the competition. The former, because the former class I use the the non mm -hmm. non classes mm -hmm. and I. Would be grateful if you did from the is, anatomy class. From the anatomy class was and what competition I won for the elderly. So there is a project for the elderly for the seniors in that project. You joined a, a competition. Yeah. It was like for the old people. Ah, okay. Um, so I should I use that? Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, okay, what competition I won for the elderly caring projects? Or I just and don't the, use... Maybe just the, no need for what? And the competition. And the competition. Yes. Okay. Just uh, trying to use the non-classes. Ah, I get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The non-classes. Mm -hmm. So you're learning like... Uh, the different kinds of sentences in your grammar, right? Complex, compound, complex, simple, and compound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this is the challenge with using noun clauses, right? Yes, they go I in just group. learned yesterday, so I, I, I thought maybe I can put it in. That's sentence. good. At least you tried. At least you tried. That's okay. In this case, because you already wanted your teacher to remember that certain competition, so that would be more appropriate because there is a certain competition you joined and you wanted yeah. her to remember that only. So okay. that so would do. The competition, yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Very good. I like the ending. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you require further information. Okay, good. It's already good. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Just that, yep. So we just have to be, although if it would just be for the class, this is already okay, but because if you wanted a higher score for the TOEFL writing, especially this part, we have to be very particular with details in the grammar, especially especially the transition words that you use, right? It's good here that you have. You, and who was the first one? Ken Lu. So very good for giving those ones. Actually, Alvin also has good transition words. 
Also, you, Alvin, your ideas in your writing are very good. But the sentences, yep. make it formal. Yep, thank you. Okay. Your focus in your writing is um, you are applying to a new job and it is your first time to apply in the cheese manufacturing factory, right? And then your that company requires you to be very disciplined and punctual. Yeah, because it's factory, right? It's factory. If you can mention, Alvin, what kind of job do you want? What position are you uh, applying for? Please say it. Because you can be factory worker or you can be a manager or you can be, you applied for a supervisor. We don't know. You say that. Okay? That's your focus. Yeah. And, and then tell Okay, and one more, Alvin, please answer the bullet number three. What do you want your teacher to put in the reference? Understand. What do you want her to put there? You, you did not answer that question, but one and two, okay. Okay, the third one you missed. Okay, that one is okay. So anyway, for the rest of you, you can send your writing in red online intake. Yep. Okay, because uh, it will almost be time. So you can send your writing in the red, in, red online intake three, and I'll be checking everything there. Okay, and I'll give also the comments there for you. Okay? Thank okay. you. So don't worry with you, Alvin. Again, just make your sentence formal. Okay. Just make it formal. Okay? Not very friendly. Okay? okay? And bullet number three. Bullet number three. Okay. Okay, Understood. you missed number three. Okay, that's right. it. For okay. Chloe, Chloe is done. Chloe, yours is very good. Uh, it's very good. Miss Anna, can I yep. ask uh, if I sure. want to add doing sure. four years learning in nursing at the institution? Is that uh, correct? Or should during I? My, during, during my four years of practice in the oh. nursing department or in the nursing field or I think nursing department in that school, right? Because there is the nursing department in that school. During yeah. my, during my. During my four years four learning years. Mm -hmm. in nursing department. Uh, in the nursing department like that. Okay. Or in yeah. the nursing course. Nursing course is, will do. Uh -huh. The nursing course will do. Yeah. I've always, okay. Should I okay. add the institution or? It's up to okay. you. Uh, it would sound better if there is, right? Yeah. It would sound, it's additional point for your vocabulary. Yeah. Right. Sure. You can do it. If you think, guys, if you think you can use another level of vocabulary in some of your words, please do it. Please do it. Okay, please do it. Find some synonyms so you won't stick to very simple words only because, again, you have a target score. Um, Chloe, uh, if yeah. you can also identify, if you can identify if it is a primary hospital, secondary hospital, or tertiary hospital, you can also put. We have hospitals that are general, right? We have hospitals that have specialty. So you can also put that if you want. Oh, you mean like uh, when I when uh, enter the, the department? Yeah, what kind of hospital it is. Is it a primary hospital, a secondary, or a specialized hospital? You can mention. So you can yeah. have at least a good vocabulary adjective but yep that one is okay too. but the flow is good everything yep. is good okay so that's it for tonight for the others i'll be waiting for your letter in intake okay so that's it for tonight thank you so much for your time good job good good try everyone very good have a good night
Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Yes, have a good night. Good night. Is it tomorrow still you? Or? No. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Okay. <laughs> you Tomorrow stay. is Wednesday, Alvin. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. See you on bye. Thursday. I see, see you guys. guys. Bye. bye.